Hello my friend, in today's video I'll show you how to use a platform called HeyReach so that you can finally be able to automate LinkedIn messages, LinkedIn connection requests and all sorts of other funky things that you tend to do manually and how you can put this on absolute steroids at scale affordably using HeyReach. Now, I assume that you already clicked on start for free on the HeyReach website and at that moment in time, you are able to log into your account. And as soon as you log in, all you need to do is first of all, connect your LinkedIn account to the platform. So the way you'll do that is by clicking on LinkedIn accounts on the left side of the panel. At that moment in time, you can click on connect account. And the easiest option from my experience is clicking on login with extension. And for this, you just need to install the HeyReach Chrome extension, which literally takes two seconds. All you need to do is just click add to uh, quite high reviews. And at that moment in time, all you need to make sure you, uh, that you do is that you're already connected, already logged into your LinkedIn account. And at that moment in time, you click on login with extension and voila, it somehow magically just connects to your LinkedIn account. You can then click over here to track only conversations started from HeyReach. This way, your HeyReach account would not pick up any messages that you get from your friends or colleagues or whoever else who you contacted in the past already. And you can select your country. I don't know what the point of that is. I think it's just to make sure that when you automate messages, that your IP address is in the same country as where you are actually based. And at that moment in time, you can click on yes, connect. And at that moment in time, it should basically just connect to your account. You can see in my case, straight away it connected to my account. It noticed that I've got LinkedIn Sales Navigator, which uh, basically means that I can increase my sending volumes. If you ever want to configure other settings, you can click on configure limits and you can then select how many connection requests you're sending and so on. So in my case, I don't want to do more than 40 profile views. I don't want to do more than probably like 30 post likes. I don't want to send more than 20 emails per day, and I don't want to be sending more than 25 messages per day. And once again, this is just guesswork. For the most part, if you click on save settings here, most of the time, from my understanding, HeyReach will have its own algorithms to determine how to keep this safe. So it should protect you from basically getting your account banned for excessive automation. So at that moment in time, you can go to send the schedule as well. So if you click on go to send the schedule, you can select the times when you want to be sending the messages just to make sure that you're sending it in the right time zone. So in my case, I'm just going to do it in the, in the UK time zone and then click on save settings. And that means that when it mimics your actions of sending connection requests and all of that fun stuff, you're not actually, you know, sending in the wrong time zone uh, to your prospects. So that's the first thing. The second thing that you should be aware of is the dashboard over here basically tells you how your campaigns are performing. For the time being, to be totally, I never use it, so I don't expect you to use it. But the first step will always be to find leads. Now, I'll probably do a separate video on how you can find leads, but essentially, all you need to do here is go to the left side of the panel where it says leads, click on add leads, and these are all the different sources that you can come up with. So, for example, you can go after anyone that reacted with a post, so anyone that liked a post or commented on a post. Or you can go for Sales Navigator leads. So these are leads that, are, that you found from LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So just for the purpose of just a quick demonstration, if we were to go on one of my posts and let's say we just go on my profile and we find a random post I've just done. So this post about how we stop taking on new clients, I'm going to copy the link to the post. And all I have to do is just go to LinkedIn Post Reactors, click on Continue. And over here, just copy and paste the post URL. So this is like the link to the actual post. I'm going to select my account because this means that it will basically scrape the people from my account. And don't worry, I think HeyReach, hey I've been using it for like three years now or two years and a bit, and it's been super safe with this. So I'm just going to call this test one, and I'm going to click on start importing. At that moment in time, you just need to give it a couple of minutes to basically load up all the leads, but to add leads from all sorts of other ways. So for example, from Sales Navigator, you will just click on continue and you will copy and paste the search URL as well. So for example, if you are looking at Sales Navigator over here, all you would do is you would filter for your persona. So let's say you go for a random persona here. And all you would need to do is just copy and paste this search URL. And if you copy and paste the search URL, it will basically it will add all of them to your campaign. So all you need to do for that is just copy and paste the search URL. 
So at this moment in time, I hope that you already connected your LinkedIn account. You know how to add leads over here. And then the next step is obviously to set up the campaign. And in super simple terms, you just go to the left side of the panel to the campaign section. You click on start new campaign and you can call this whatever campaign name you want to call it as. At that moment in time, you can select your list. So this will be the list that we just uploaded. So the lead list, in this case, I'm going to select it here. You can exclude certain lists. So for example, if you have a do not contact with a list of your competitors or something of that sort, you can upload it here. I also recommend clicking on just excluding all the people that you already messaged, all the people that were messaged by your other colleagues and all that fun stuff. You can then click on continue. At this moment in time, you just tick the box to make sure that you select the right LinkedIn account. And for context, if you've got more than one LinkedIn account, I'll show you in a second how you can manage multiple users as well. And then you can click on continue. At this moment in time, you have two options. The first option is to import from templates. So this is whereby you are able to basically import a pre-templated version of a Hey Reach campaign. But in my opinion, it's better to always build it from scratch yourself. And the question you should ask yourself is, what's the manual process? If I was to do this manually, what's the step-by-step -step process of me contacting prospects or leads on LinkedIn? So spoiler alert, typically it does not start with you just sending a connection request. What I typically recommend is the first action I always put without fail is viewing the profile. So typically I view a profile, I give it a couple of days, and this is controversial because a lot of people just flood, like send a connection request, pitch slap the hell out of the prospect, and then they wonder why, you know, for whatever reason they get no replies, right? Don't do that, don't be that person. So what I recommend is you click on view profile, two days later, you then send a connection request. And in this case, you can say like, hey, well, actually don't say anything in the connection request. This is one thing worth noting as well, because that just worsens the likelihood of someone connecting with you. And essentially the way you build it out is just by thinking of this in like different logics. So when you send the connection request in five days, if it's still not accepted, if the person has still not accepted your connection request, I'm going to like their post, for example. Now I'm not saying it's the best of ideas, but it's something you can do. And five days later, you can even send, you can then try and send them some text in an email, for example. Once again, not the best practice. I wouldn't do that. Typically, I would just probably end, I would probably just end the sequence if they haven't accepted and I like their post and they still haven't accepted my connection request. Now, on the other side, if they accepted the connection request, I would give it a couple of days. I'll say three days most of the time. And then after that, I'll send them a message because guess what? Most of the time when you're connecting with someone, you don't just want to just smash them with a with a pitch straight away right so that's the first thing so you'll put message one here and the fallback message is just a message that does not include any custom variables so for example if you want to send me a message and i'm a lead in the campaign i will say hi first name saw you reacted to my post about not taking on new clients Thanks, exclamation mark, right? In this case, this will personalize the first name depending on the per first name of the person, right? Common sense, I'm sure you, you agree. But the fallback message cannot have the dynamic variables. So the fallback message, you just need to exclude any brackets so that if for whatever reason we couldn't find their first name, this is what you will default to. So this is how you go about messages. And then once again, just use a bit of common sense here. You may want to wait for a day, then afterward, after that, you just basically click on like, uh, you can view their profile again. And I know this is safe, it gives you this repeated action sign, but honestly, like it's fine. This is what you would do typically, you would view the profile more than one. Uh, you give it a couple of days, you then may be back with a message too. So it's like, oh, curious, do you do outbound? And once again, I'm not saying this is a good campaign, I'm just saying this is how you use HeyReach. Right, so do you do outbound at company? And of course, company names sometimes will be absolutely rubbish in terms of they, they wouldn't be cleaned up. So it will be something like, do you do it at Coca-Cola Limited instead of Coca-Cola? And this is why you would probably need some other tools before actually getting you know, this data inside of HeyReach. At that moment in time, you click on save. And once again, you get the idea, you can just keep on going with other messages, you can keep going with other actions. And then when you're happy with the campaign, you just click on end. And at that moment in time, you can click on continue. I know what I'm doing. And then you can click on launch campaign.
Now, if you want to make any edits to the campaign, you need to first of all, pause it. And after that, you're able to edit the campaign here and click on continue and voila, you click on continue again, and then you can edit all the actions right in front of you over here as well. Now, in the meantime, you should be able to see that the campaign is up and running here. You should see some of the statistics. In the dashboard, you will see the breakdown of all the campaigns. You can like select a specific campaign to, to look at that. You can also connect multiple users. And this is the one thing that people underappreciate about HeyReach. The beauty of HeyReach, as opposed to other LinkedIn automation platforms, is that you can have one sales navigator account and you can share it between multiple senders. So you can just get rid of all your random extra sales navigator subscriptions, have one sales navigator subscription tied to my account, and then just add a bunch of colleagues into extra seats. So in this case, it saves you quite a bit of money and you can automate outreach on behalf of a lot of users. And more than that, over here, you have the uni box, which is I think like a universal inbox. Here, you can track all the messages that you're receiving. And typically, I know a lot of companies have virtual assistants whose job it is to basically every morning just wake up, select a specific user, reply on their behalf, and just like track the leads and so on. Now, on top of that, HeyReach has a bunch of great connections with other tools. So you can be notified on Slack as soon as a, someone replies to your message on HeyReach. You can even connect it to HubSpot, Pipedrive, Go High Level, any of these cool tools. That's really, really useful. You can also get leads from RB2B. So I'm not sure how familiar you are with RB2B. I actually did another video on my channel on this. RB2B helps you to identify people that visited your website, but who didn't leave, who haven't submitted a form or anything of that sort. So just think about it as anyone that clicked on your website, you instantly get a notification saying, hey, this person just visited your website. So it's really cool, worth checking out. And once again, I just had this open on my tab, but basically you just you can get an idea so you can get instant Slack notifications as soon as someone visits your website. And more than that, these are real people. You have their email addresses, you have their LinkedIn profiles, you can connect with them on LinkedIn in one click. And more than that, you can automate all of this and you can automate how you actually then send them a personalized email as soon as they visit your website. And if you don't believe me on that, what I'll do is, I'll link down below a guide on how you can set up RB2B completely for free. And of course, at this moment in time, you're probably wondering, hey, why did you just spend 10, 15 minutes explaining how to use HeyReach? Like, is that what you do for a living? And the answer is, well, kind of. I've got a course, which is just like a hobby on the side right now. And it teaches you how to personalize every single cold message that you send at Prospect. So a lot of the time, the challenge will be that you're trying to scale outreach using a tool like HeyReach, but the downside is it's not personalized, it's not relevant. You're just shamelessly pitching your products at a bunch of people. You have no idea how to use sales signals, triggers, or personalized copywriting. And this is why I created this course. And spoiler alert, this is the cheapest course in the market. It's the only one that offers a 30 day money back guarantee. If you don't absolutely adore the hell out of this course, I'll give you your money back and it only costs 100 pounds. And we taught over 200 people in the last three months alone. So if that sounds like a good deal to you, I'm going to link it down below as well, next to a video that explains how to use RB2B. And if you wanna check it out, by all means, check it out. And I'll even link after this video, a video for you to watch about how you use clay and what clay is, so that hopefully I can simplify that learning journey for you as well. Anyways, if you enjoyed this one, please give it a like, please subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video about some random sales tool. Anyways, see you later. All the best. Cheers.